What up, Nacho Nation? I'm Buddy. I'm Louie. And we're back. I know it's been a while, and it's been a lot of inactivity. I actually was busy in Mexico. The whole editing process was a headache, and I wasn't able to, bottom line. So, we're back, and, and you can expect one to two videos a week so far, but one for sure every single week. Uh, but for now, um, you know, I wasn't going to go to Mexico and not get a couple stuff, so I... I came with some gifts. Uh, as you can see, I got myself a poncho, you know, represent, represent <sighs> all yours. It's very comfortable. It can't be warm, man. Believe it or not, it was kind of cold out there. Um, but it was, uh, you know, real nice, but I couldn't, couldn't leave him empty-handed. So, you know, I had to get him his own, you know? Yeah, he got the Mexican flag colors. Yeah. Like, I like this one better than the one you got already. Oh, yeah. Well, there you go. Just because the colors, you know? Yeah. So I'm glad he liked it. That's real dope. Super nice. Um, I'll have to pull these out. Or pull this out. <laughs> for sure, man. And... <laughs> Remember, guys, wash your hands, cough in your elbow, and stay safe out there. Anyways, so I'm glad he likes that more. And uh, this is actually my favorite. And of course, him being the hype beast of the family, I had to get him a little sum sum. I'm not a hype beast. He's a hype beast. Now, you know, if I was gonna spend big bucks on this 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 trip, I could have spend not spend big bucks on a t-shirt from my boy, okay? So, you know, I decided to splurge a little bit for him, and, you know, I think it was worth it. And BAM! A Versace shirt. Go ahead, man. Yeah. That can be stunning on him. Huh? Loot crate. Loot crate? Oh, that's... They make the best material, that's why. <laughs> but that's real. That's 100% authentic right there. Show the camera, man. Don't be... There we go. Show the camera. Yeah, you put that down. Put that down. Damn. Damn. Nice. That's a hundred percent real, cause they don't sell any any fake in 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 Mexico. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah. So I'll, you, I'll have to wear this one day. Oh, for sure, one man. Day. You can, you can. Yeah, yeah, bro. But this weekend, man. You uh, know? I don't know. I don't. I don't oh, think the, I'm not, the, I'm, the yeah. sub quarantine. Yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna be going out in a while. No, for sure, bro. I'm, I'm glad to see you love it. Yeah. And so yeah, man, it was fun out there. Um. You know, I came strapped with some cheese on the way back. Just <laughs> strapped. If you if you're a Mexican and you know, y you know, you know about the cheese. The stinky cheese. Yeah, the tortillas. You know, I came I came with some good stuff. But um, not the chips. I told you about. This guy and his damn chips. <laughs> Listen, man, there wasn't enough space. I you know I gotta be honest. I ate them on the way back. I ate them. I don't care. They were good. No regrets. So yeah, that does it here, Nacho Nation. I'll see you guys in the unboxing and review. What up, Nacho Nation? Like I said before, I got a special unboxing adding to the collection. It will go on this wall, and it is a mystery one for you guys from StockX. So let's get into this. Get the handy dandy throne book. Wrap. And you guys will know by this box. Off whites. You know what it is. Nine and a half. As you guys may know, I have the green pair and I had to get my hands on this pair as well. So now I have two in the collection, missing one. Alright guys, so let's get into this. As you can see, it comes with the off-white paper. Some more of this uh, off-white paper. And of course, the tissue paper. Nothing new there. And wow, look at these. Wow. Now, they look a lot better in person. Now, we're going to put these to the side so I can get the other one out. Now let's take an in-depth look at this and I'll see you guys 
in the next angle. colorway this is actually one of the original colorways of the beach hoodier school pack that debuted in a high top um, it's it's a beautiful shoe very if you saw this you just say it's a it's a crazy looking dunk because that's really what it is it's a dunk with off-white features so one of the most glaring features of, of Virgil that Virgil added was the the second lacing system over the top which I personally love I know that's one thing that people were kind of uh, talking about how it just didn't look good this and that I loved it from the beginning I saw pictures of the green pair and it was just crazy um, and I love it they didn't change it up in, in this colorway so the ones that you would see on the green you also see on the red and I believe the Michigan pair um, it's like a coral, like a neon coral. I, I love the color. And I didn't think it'd pop out as much because it's a, it's a red shoe, but it does. On the side, you have the off-white lettering. And if you turn it to the other side, you have the orange tab. Um, one thing you're gonna notice right away from just holding the shoe is how soft the leather is. Um, the toe box is like butter. It's literally like butter, it's, it's, it's insane. Um, and that, that leather actually carries on from the toe box all the way to the tongue, everything in between. So it, it's, it's, it's a nice touch. It has the vintage Nike logo, which I loved. And of course the exposed foam around the tongue. That's another um, off-white detail. Over the back you still have uh, the Nike, it looks like a normal dunk. You can actually lift up this. I'm not sure why you would lift up the, the tab in the back, but you can. Um, I just love that they didn't go crazy with the bottom and just kept it all red. Um, so then you don't have to worry if it's a clear one, worry about the yellowing and all that. You can just wear them and I feel these will be pretty easy to clean. If you look at the shoelaces, it still says shoelaces. Um, that'll never change, it's in gray. And then the insole, if you were to take it out, is actually like the inside of the box, the tissue box, or the tissue paper in the box. Um, I love the touch, and if you look at the bottom, it's actually a dunk outsole, which I thought was, was really cool. I don't think they, they really ever do that for different types of shoes, so I thought it was really cool. Seems nice. And of course, coming to the other shoe, everything is the same except for that off-white tag uh, I know it's an off-white tag, but the color is off-white as well. Um, and they did their thing on this. I, I, I love the shoe. It's very comfortable. Um, brings me back because I would like to, I would wear dunks. Uh, SB dunks back in the day. Uh, they were comfortable. And I was always trying to get into skating because I'm one of my friends. But uh, overall, it's, it's an amazing shoe. I'm happy to have it in my collection. Now, if you guys would like to see me do a review on the green pair, let me know about that because I do have them in hand. And also, if you know anybody with a nine and a half in the Michigan colorway, to let me know as well. Um, leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of these? Would you guys cop these? Uh, if so, you know, let, let us know. We'll chat it up with you in the comments. This has been a review by me, by Buddy, and I'll see you in the next one.